Suarez points to the left. Where is my script? Where is my script, students? <clears throat> Does this also happen to you that because of the endless scrolling, you end up wasting a lot of time in your preparation? Does it also feel? Do you also feel that because of this endless scrolling, that your need dream is slipping away at every single second? Yes, students. Yes, because let me tell you a very hard truth. That is, a scrolling or distractions, they just don't take away your time. They also kill your dream along with it at the same time. Because let's face it, friend, let's face it, every single person is distracted in this world. It could be this person driving a car, it could be me, it could be you, even a topper gets distracted. But there is a small difference, students, because some people are able to control these distractions. They're able to modulate distractions. And if you want to be that person, watch the video till the very end because in the next six minutes, in the next six minutes, I'll be telling you why distractions are dangerous, how they affect your need preparation, very important, how to kill the distractions for good at one go. So watch the video till the very end if you want to know how to control the distractions and how to destroy the distractions for the good today itself. Now tell me, let me tell you first thing, why distractions are dangerous? Because distractions can be very small, but they add up. Let me give you a quick example. For example, if I'm trying to study a chapter, and I take a 15 minutes break and I'm distracted on my phone. If when I'm distracted on my phone, a 15 minutes break on Instagram can become one hour. And one hour into seven days, that's seven hours. And in the same seven hours, you could have revised one entire chapter. Yes, distractions are very dangerous. And this examination is very brutal. All of you are aware, this examination is very brutal where time is of essence and every single day you waste, you could have revised something new, you could have solved more questions. Yes. Now students understand here, that is, how to basically and identify these distractions. For example, what could be social media, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, procrastination, delaying the study session and you're like, I will do tomorrow. I will do tomorrow. I have too, too much of time. I have four more months left. It is not the case. What is FOMO? That is fear of missing out. For example, you get a message from your friend and immediately you want to reply to it. And when you reply to that person, that reply becomes a conversation and a conversation takes a lot of time and before you know it, it's more than one hour. Next thing is negative peer pressure. Very simple to understand. That is, friends who don't value or need preparation, they'll be like, bro, yesterday full day you studied, today you enjoy. Yesterday full day you studied, today you enjoy with us. Come out with us. Students, so you have just four months left, so avoid these people who will not be a negative impact in your preparation. Just a matter of four months because in these four months, your entire future can change in the next next four months. So please, please make your preparation right and please choose the people right. That is very important. Next thing is, let's come to solutions now. That is, how distracted affects your need preparation. First thing is, loss of momentum. Let me give you a fun fact here. Every single time you're distracted, for you to regain that focus, it takes approximately 23 minutes. And in that 23 minutes, you could be even more distracted even more, more time. So loss of momentum is going to be the one major factor in your preparation. One small distraction, it will lead to a cascade of events. Next thing is incomplete syllabus. Obviously, more distraction equals less study time. Less study time equals unprepared for need. And then you tell me, sir, how to clear backlog? Keep commenting how to clear backlog. I'll make one more video on it. That's not how it works, students. When you waste time, you get backlogs. Don't waste time, no backlogs. And let me tell you, students, in your need preparation, this is your preparation. This is your dream. In the middle, you have distractions. The more you reduce the distraction, the closer you are to your dream. So dream and you. Middle part is distractions. Reduce the gap. Automatically, you will see the results happening. Last thing is mental stress. Obviously, falling behind the creates anxiety and affects your preparation. You're falling behind. You ask your friends. He's like, bro, I finished revision. Two revision, three revision. MCQ, M PYQ done. That creates anxiety. So these are the things which affect your preparation. But now let's come to the solution. That is more important. But before we come to the solution, let me ask you one thing. Are you ready to sacrifice every single thing in your life for one specific goal? That is, it could be your friends. It could be your relatives. It could be a small function. It could be social media. It could be partying. It could be everything. Are you ready to sacrifice each and everything for that one ultimate goal, which is going to change your life for good? If you are, 
very good if you have watched the video till now quickly smash that like button right now and keep watching because now i'll tell you the something if you are truly ready for it that is how to overcome distractions now a simple methods but very effective the first one is create a study timetable very simple let me tell you how for example monday morning 10 am if you know exactly you're going to do physics monday 12 chemistry monday 1 pm biology if you have a fixed timetable like that you do not have a room to even be distracted if you do not have a plan you become curious you become curious and you start wasting time if you're busy you know you do not have anything to do so keep yourself busy keep a proper timetable which you follow and keep it realistic don't be like i'll try 20 hours a day not possible okay digital detox very important there are multiple apps on the internet which will help you to detox when i say detox i mean avoid the watch time for example yes relaxation is important so keep a minimum lock on every single app usage and these apps like forest there are multiple app blocks which will allow you to use the app of youtube instagram snapchat only for a dedicated amount of time 20 minutes per day that's all you need of instagram if you even need 10 minutes of snapchat 15 minutes of your any other app so this digital detox is very important next thing is design a dedicated study space that is simple study space around you you should if you're learning from a laptop keep a laptop keep a book keep a water bottle keep a ncert that's it do not keep anything on the table which is going to distract you do not keep that stupid aloo bujiya or oreo biscuit which you will be very interested to read about it later on okay now next thing is visualize your goal always think if you're distracted why did i even start this journey why am i doing this do i have to become a doctor should i become next year think about it and the last and the most important one is distracted i'm using reels 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 with 5 4 3 2 1 action that is called as 5 second rule every single time you feel you're not able to control the usage of mobile phone just say 5 4 3 2 1 1 action and you stop the more thing you're doing right now and start studying why because students they will there are always distractions if you allow them to be if you do not allow them to be all these distractions are not going to be there students and let me tell you students if you are really really you know want to clear your examination if you really want to be in that space that yes next year this time i will be in a college next year this month december you will be in a college you will be in a hostel you will be studying mbbs and not again becoming a dropper and why am i telling you all this students if you go to the channel right now quickly smash the like button here there's something called as hope is coming that is if you want to restart your journey if you want to make sure that i have wasted enough of time i don't want to waste any more time and you can start right now because something big is coming on the channel students something big is coming that is on the 28th exactly at your evening 6 pm or 7 pm something big is coming so i hope everyone quickly smash that like button there and join that video stress is going to tell you something amazing before i go let me tell you something students before i go let me tell you that i want each and every one of you watching the lecture each and every one of you i want every one of you to identify three main distractions which are in your life and let's see if anyone also has the same distractions or is it unique to you and every single day you remove the distraction from your life you need to also tell me in the comment section yes sir i'm not able to i'm not distracted by this comment from now onwards so with that being said students thank you so much and i will see you in the next video until then keep studying and i will see you in the next video bye bye students